Welcome to Kail Conversations, and I am excited to be here with you. I'm Pat Francis, and we are in that 2020 revelation of the outpouring of apostolic prophetic glory, and we want you to help us to spread this word. I want you to help us to use the social media as a platform for our voice and to raise up a mighty army of people that will know their God and do mighty exploit. And so tonight we're going to be talking about the fire of heaven. Remember, like us, share, subscribe, email me at kail at patfrancis.org if you want more. And come make sure you're keeping comment. Today I'm not going to have a special guest, but you will be my special guest. And so I need you to keep writing and keep sharing and tell us where you're from. Wow. So call friends now and tell them, don't forget, text them, WhatsApp them, whatever you want to do and let them know, come on, let's get on to Kyle Conversations with Pat Francis. It's going to be starting in a minute. And we are going to start now. So I want to formally welcome you to Kyle Conversation. I'm Pat Francis and we have been teaching and training on apostolic prophetic glory and we want to welcome those that have joined us already welcome bishop mel from from the uk welcome to those that are joining us from america and the canadians are coming on one by one by one and so we want to welcome you and tonight's topic is fire of heaven and this is very important because when you know about the fire of heaven, then you will see how powerful it is and why God has a reservoir of fire in heaven. It is something that is a gift to you. So you want to make sure that you understand how to use this powerful, powerful gift that God has, fire of heaven. And so in Revelations 8, 5, it says the angel took the censer he filled it with the fire of the altar, at the altar of the altar, and he threw it to the earth. And so there is fire in heaven, and there is an altar in heaven. And so if the angel took the fire and threw it at the earth, what is the use of the fire of heaven to people on earth, to the circumstances in your life? Now, when you pray for healing, God sometimes answers by fire because fire destroy diseases. Fire destroy witchcraft power. Fire can be like a light for laser surgery that can do surgery and correct things in the body. Fire, when you pray and you ask for protection, sometimes God will answer by fire and put a ring of fire around you. When you pray for cleansing, cleanse me, O God, then God sometimes answers by fire, and that fire will come and burn out darkness because fire is light. It burns out fear. It burns out any bitterness and anything that could block you, any garbage that is in our lives. It burns it out because fire burns garbage and stop an odor that can even be a spiritual odor that we carry and it breaks relationships. When we pray for salvation of loved ones, sometimes God answers by fire. And he sent fire to break chains, fire to break yokes, fire to break down the opposition to your, prayer, to your prayers. When you pray for revival, then you are calling down fire because fire is that which ignite hearts and make them want Jesus. Fire is what would ignite believers and make them, make them share the gospel. Because revival is triggered if God has believers that will share the gospel, that will believe and start to heal by fire, believe and start to, to do miracles, signs and wonders by fire, because the fire from heaven ignite your heart, ignite passion, and ignite your faith to believe for miracle signs and wonders. And so fire is important. As a matter of fact, the disciples were baptized in fire, the Holy Spirit and fire. And we're welcoming those that are coming now. We want to welcome Linda and Lydia and Glenda and Tatik. 
and Frank and Avril and Joseph Pew Pewey. Let me know where you're from, all these people that are joining, because fire is an important gift from God to all believers. And so in spiritual warfare, God uses fire as a spiritual weapon to destroy evil, demons, and altars of Baal. And this is why it is so important for me to teach you and train you in apostolic prophetic glory that I'm not inviting guests for this season because you are my primary guest. I want you to talk to me. I want you to ask me questions. I want you to comment throughout the whole time. I want you to tell me where you're from. I need you to, to be a part of what I'm doing because you are going to be trained how to release the fire of heaven. And so this is important. So welcome, Fernani from Indonesia. Welcome these people that are joining. So in Revelations 29, to talk about the power of fire in your prayer. It says, the enemy, they marched across the breadth of the earth and they surrounded the camp of God's people, the city he loves. Wow, I, 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 I just love this because you know, we have been having an outbreak of violence in, in our city and our young people are involved in this. And it says the enemy was marching across the city the, and the breadth of the earth as well, not just the one city, and surrounding the camp of God's people. And then it's around the city he loves. But fire came from heaven and devoured them. Wow, I am so excited when I read this today. I was so encouraged that I can call down fire from heaven to burn up the evil that is inspiring young people, inspiring people into violence. When you look at the sex trafficking that is increasing across the nations, when you look at the terrorism that is increasing across the nations and people are being murdered and people are being tormented, that it says that, the, that it seems like the enemy has surrounding people. Right now we're under attack with the coronavirus that is just burning viciously, taking over nation by nation by nation. The enemy is surrounding the camp of God's people. It is surrounding the camp of people who are vulnerable and the cities that he loved. But the fire came down from heaven and devoured the coronavirus, devoured the spiritual wickedness devoured the occult that was ter terrorizing people, devoured the spirit of fear. So we want to talk about how to walk in the apostolic prophetic glory where you have the power to call down fire and to pray the fire as a part of your spiritual warfare. Now, what do I mean about ap uh, apostolic? Apostolic means power and authority. It means government. It means, it means the power to rule you, rule your world, and, and make demons know that the greater ones is inside of you. So apostolic also means the sent one. And so God is training you to send you to destroy the evil that is surrounding the camp of God's people and surrounding people nation by nations by nations. People are being devoured. I got a call this morning from Asia and, and the, the person said, Mom, I am so afraid. They have found the coronavirus here now and people are panicking. The supermarkets are empty and people don't know what to do. I am afraid. And I said, you don't have to be afraid because I'm going to put a ring of fire around you and I will destroy the enemy your condominium and so people of God I want you to be walk in the apostolic authority and then we're going to talk about the prophetic authority as well and so in Matthew 16 19 this is why Jesus said to the disciples I gave you the keys of the kingdom of heaven what does it mean it means you have a key that can literally unlock fire from heaven 
Wow. I hope you are saying wow at home. I hope you are saying hallelujah at home. I hope you are saying amen. Come right to me and let me know because I can't hear you. So let me know what you're doing because I am telling you that Jesus said to you, every believer in Christ, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And one of that key, I am so happy to tell you tonight, is for you to unlock the fire that is at the altar of heaven so that it can come down and burn up evil that is around you. Whoa, hey, let me clap myself then if you're not gonna clap me because I tell you something, I am excited about how God has given us this power. So the first thing, the apostolic authority is that you get the keys of the kingdom of heaven to unlock fire. Many things is unlocked by the keys of the kingdom, but I'm talking about fire now tonight because the coronavirus is taking over nations upon nations upon nations upon nations. And there was a global day of prayer today that Cindy Jacobs called and we were praying and fasting from this morning and believing God because there's one fire that can burn up coronavirus. We thank God for the specialists and the doctors that is researching and trying to find out what we do. We thank God for the World Health Organization and all the different organizations that are fighting this disease. But people of God, if you are a believer in Christ, put up your hands right now because you are one of the key that can unlock something that has been given to you. Thank God for World Health Organization, but they don't have the key that you have. Are you understanding me, believers in Christ? So we are going to fight with fire tonight in the name of Jesus because we're going to unlock it, call it down, and burn up coronavirus in the name of Jesus. It will not come in your, in your dwelling. I will put a ring of fire around your house tonight in the name of Jesus. Why? Because I have the key to unlock the fire. I am apostolic. I have the authority. I have the government of God. And because I have the revelation, I am sent by God to train you so that you can use the key that you have and don't keep carrying it around in your pocket and carrying it around in your handbag and carrying it around all around your neck as jewelry and don't know that this key will unlock the things of heaven in the name of Jesus. And so the apostolic authority to is unlock fire from heaven. Many things can be unlocked, but I want to focus on fire because I got that call early this morning at 7 o'clock. Mom, I'm afraid coronavirus has landed in our nation now and the president is saying that we have to take things. I said in the name of Jesus, I am burning you with fire and I put a ring of fire around you. So do not fear in the name of Jesus. And then Jesus said to them, the key will unlock the kingdom of heaven. And then he says, whatever you bind on earth. If somebody's around you, just say whatever. Whatever means whatever. I, I can't break that word down. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. If we bind coronavirus tonight, it will be bound in heaven. That's what it means. If we bind poverty, if we bind cancer, if we bind sickness, if we bind strife, if we bind bitterness, if we bind any attack, God says, Jesus, no, not Pat Francis, Jesus is saying in Matthew 16, 19, that whatever you bind on earth where we live will be bound in heaven where he lives. Oh, my word. Somebody get excited with me today and write me and let me know that not just me, I'm getting excited by myself because I'm talking to you and you are my guest. And that is the prophetic authority. Because how do you bind? You don't bind in your head. You have to bind with your voice. And that's why I call it prophetic authority. God says, I watch over your mouth and what you say to perform it. That is the prophetic glory that I'm talking about. And so the prophetic glory that if you say and I say and we're going to now bind and the, the, the anything that will come against us, then God says, in addition to your prophetic glory, if two or three, three of you gather, wow, that is another level of pressure against evil. And whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. You are powerful. And that's why I said, you know what? 
Let me have all our Kyle family be my special guest every week for the next few weeks because I want you to know how powerful you are. I don't want you to be a Christian going to church. You can quote from Genesis to Revelation, but you're not walking in your apostolic prophetic authority. I am saying, wake up and smell the glory, man. You know, some of you wake up every morning and you smell your coffee. And you know, by a certain time, I need a coffee. I need a coffee. Well, wake up and smell your glory. That's why David says, I will awake, awake, awake my glory. Because I want to awake my authority to kill giants. I want to awake my authority to go beyond what are the attacks from my own family. I want to awake the authority that I'm living in a cave. And I want to awake my authority that I will not die here. So some of you have to get up and from your pity party, get up out of your fear and begin to use your voice. You see, that's why God didn't make you dumb. Why? Because your voice is a weapon. You know, here we are driving in our car and God and, you know, the business leaders are using voice on Google and voice on Waze and voice. And you're listening to the voice. So I'm saying when you speak, demons will listen. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Are you getting it? <laughs> I'm saying if you listen to Waze and you listen to Google, when you use your voice, demons will listen to you. And then not only demons will listen, but God says, I will watch over what you say. And I will perform what you say. Open your mouth and begin to speak the word of God so that angels will hear, God will hear, and begin to perform miracle signs and wonders in your life. And so when you look at the prophetic authority, your voice is powerful. God also says, whatever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven. That is again prophetic authority. That's why 2020 it's the release and outpouring of apostolic prophetic authority on the body of Christ. Christ in you is the hope of glory. Let God arise. My God, some of you shut him up in your womb. Shut him up in your belly. It's supposed to pour out of your belly. It's out of your belly must flow rivers of living water. You entomb Christ. You lock him down in you. And you're a Christian. He is not arising. This is why the Bible says arise, shine, light, revelation is coming to you tonight so that he can jump out of the grave. My God, the grave couldn't hold him. And then the death couldn't hold him. But you're holding him in your belly. You have entombed him in your belly and you're not letting him arise out of you to manifest his glory. Come on, people, let's be like Peter, James, John. They failed. They did a few things. They ran. But my God, when they came out of that upper room, they came out of the grave. I want you to jump up where you are and say, I'm out of the grave. I'm out of anything that is entombing me. I'm going to use my voice. I'm going to use my mouth. I'm going to use my apostolic authority. I, I'm going to use this key with the heavens, and I will unlock fire to the enemies of my soul, to my family, to my body, to my ministry, to my career, to my prosperity. Come on, church, arise. As Isaiah say, you're sleeping. And then you're sleeping, but then when we accept Jesus, we entomb him in our belly. Christ comes in. He is the resurrection and the life, people. Hello. You are alive. Yes, you're breathing. But you're not just breathing air. Breathe the breath of the Almighty. That's what I want you to breathe. That's what I'm training you to breathe. The breath of the Almighty. So that when you speak, and you speak the word of the living God, by his stripes I am healed. Fire from heaven is unlocked. Because, and because you bind that spirit of disease that come against you and will burn up every cancer in your body. Come on, people, touch your body and say, fire, 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 fire. Fall down and unlock it in the name of Jesus and let the fire from heaven come up on your body and burn up every sickness tonight in the name of Jesus. Let it dry up tumor like a crisp. 
And then you pass it out in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Are you understanding what I'm saying? I'm saying let God arise. I am saying let Jesus come out of the grave of your belly. Let him begin to speak through you. Let him begin to work through you. Let him begin to heal through you. Let him begin to deliver through you. And so it says here that whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Now this is a very powerful apostolic prophetic mantle that God has put upon you. The keys of the heaven. You can unlock whatever tonight. Whatever heaven has, you can unlock. You want prosperity? It's there. He's the God of wealth. You want healing? Well, the Lamb of God is there. What, what your household salvation? The blood is there. Whatever you want, you can unlock it tonight because you have your key. Start using the key. If more than one of you are watching tonight, turn to the person beside you and say, start using the keys of the kingdom of heaven. You're wearing it like a piece of jewelry. Is it is it something that must be functional in your life? I will give you the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. And so this is how God trained Jeremiah. He says, you have seen well, Jeremiah. I am ready to perform my word as you speak. And so this is why sometimes when Jesus was, was, was here in the flesh and people would come to him to be healed, he would ask them questions. Gee, one man said, if you can, heal me. If I can. If I can? You use the wrong word. If I can? If I can? So you don't believe I can. Oh Lord, help my unbelief. Yes, that's the first thing you need. Your unbelief. You need to get rid of your unbelief. I can do all things. I am God. I am creator. I made your body. I made you from dust. You came out of a mother's womb. And now you've grown all that. I mean, look at the creation that you are. You are a miracle already. And you're asking me if I can heal the body I created. Now, does that make sense? No. Ask the right thing. Jesus, heal me. That sounds sensible. And so tonight, in the name of Jesus, as we continue to teach an apostolic prophetic glory, we're going to be talking about this secret weapon called the fire of heaven. A lot of Christians don't use it, they don't acknowledge it, and they don't know how to be accurate with it. But people of God, you're going to be trained. And I want you to help me to invite as many people every Tuesday, rain, shine, snow, volcano, we are here with Kail Conversations so you can tune in. And I know the volcano just erupted in Indonesia, but I'm here to tell you what God is saying. You see that volcano that erupted? That's what he wants to come out of you. His fire of the Holy Ghost. My God, when Peter got a hold of this, he got out there and he called fire and a crippled man was healed. He began to speak with fire and 3,000 people were saved. Come on, people. Let's get on with this thing now and, and let God arise in you. And so you have power. The apostolic prophetic glory is in you. And God wants to use you to display his glory. Well, in the name of Jesus, right where you are, just put up your hands now. And I'm going to use the key. And in the name of Jesus, I have the key of the kingdom of heaven. And I unlock the fire of God in any room, in any car, in any place that you are right now in Jesus' name to come down upon your body in the name of Jesus to come down. First of all, let the fire come upon your, your head and your brain. <laughs> Let's do brain surgery tonight. Let it burn out every fear. Let it burn out every deception in the name of Jesus. Let the fire flow inside of your belly to become rivers of living water. Let the fire touch your body tonight and begin to heal you of every sickness and disease. And you better say the great amen right now. Say the great amen. Come on. I can't hear you, but write the big, in big block letters, amen. Which means not a little amen, 
but the great amen must come out of you because you're taking your miracle tonight in the name of Jesus. And I bind every principality, every power, every rulers of darkness, every spiritual wickedness in high or low places that will come against you to steal, to kill, to destroy, that will come against your children, come against your young people, come against your family, come against your miracle. The devil is a liar. I burn up every plan, every scheme, every wickedness against you with fire from heaven. Come on, people, say fire, fire, fire of heaven in the name of Jesus. He whom the Son set free is free indeed. Oh, wow. I am so excited. And I hope you're excited like I am because, you know, it's my privilege and my glory to teach you like this because I, I believe what God says. There's a mighty army, a Kayil army. This is why they call David, David's mighty army. The word mighty is Kayil. They weren't just ordinary men, man. Yes, they came with their debt. They were discouraged. They had different issues. But by the time the fire of God fall upon them, they became mighty army that set nations free. That's what I'm talking about. Vicious in battle against evil. And the victory of God was there. That is my prayer for you in the name of Jesus. So I'm excited to be with you. And next week, same time, I want you to make sure you bring at least a, a group of people. that Invite at least five people. Everybody. Invite five people to meet us here next week, Tuesday. Because I'm talking about the fire of heaven. I'm going to teach you about the different applications of the fire in your life. And so continue to write and say the great, send me the great amen, the biggest amen you can write. Because I prayed for you and you have to say the amen so that it becomes your reality in the name of Jesus. Amen. So continue to write, continue to, to let us have this conversation as we go offline. And remember people, we are a Kyle generation.